Shalom, shalom again, beloved. Um, I'm going to read Proverbs 21 out of the ISR. And uh, here we go. Father God, bless us, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your word, Lord. Now bless us with somebody that could teach us, that could speak to us about growing stronger and about feeding our inner spiritual man that we do not succumb to the things of the world, beloved. In Yeshua's name, amen. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so sorry, beloved. I'm tired. Here we go. Um, Proverbs 21 out of the ISR. The sovereign's heart is as channels of water in the land of Yahweh, he turns it wherever he wishes. All a man's ways are right in his own eyes, but Yahweh weighs the hearts. To do righteousness and to right ruling is more acceptable to Yahweh than a slaughtering. A haughty look, a proud heart, the lamp of the wrong are sin. The plans of the hard worker lead only to plenty, but all rash haste only to poverty. Gaining treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor heading for the death. The spoil of the wrong catches them because they refuse to do right ruling. The way of a guilty man is perverse, but as for the innocent, his work is right. It is better to dwell in the corner of a roof than in a house shared with contentious woman. The desire of the wrong is set upon evil. His neighbor finds no favor in his eyes. When the scoffer is punished, the simp was made wise. But when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. The righteous one understands the house of the wrong. He overthrows the wrong for the evil. Whoever shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, let him also cry and not be heard. A gift in secret subdues displeasure, and the bribe in the bosom strong wrath. To do right ruling is joy to the righteous, but to the workers of wickedness, a man who strays from the way of understanding rests in the assembly of the dead. He who loves pleasure is a poor man. He who loves his wine And oil does not become rich. The wrong is a ransom from righteous, and the treacherous for the straight. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and vexed woman. Desirable treasure and oil are in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man swallows it up. He who pursues righteousness and loving commitment finds life, righteousness, and esteem. A wise one scales the city of the mighty and brings down the trusted stronghold. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue guards his life with distresses. Proud, haughty, scoffer is his name. He acts with arrogant pride. 
the desire of the lazy man slays him, for his hands refuse to work. He covers greedily all day long, but the righteous gives and does not withhold. The slaughtering of the wrong is an abomination. How much more when he brings it with wickedness? A false witness perishes, but the man who obeys speaks forever. A strong man hardens his face, but as for the straight, he establishes his way. There is no wisdom in understanding or counsel against Yahweh. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the deliverance is of Yahweh. Beloved, that was Proverbs 21. I love you, beloved. Shalom, shalom. And remember, I'm always a call away, beloved. All right. Blessings. Shalom.